Let's make this beautiful hematite bracelet not stretch with wire and a twist clasp. Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. Here are some of the things that we will need for this bracelet. We obviously are going to need some wire, beads of your choice, and a barrel clasp. So let's start by cutting the wire. I would say grab yourself about a nine inch piece. And first step, let's feed the wire right through one half of the barrel. So if you've never worked with a barrel clasp before, it's actually got two sections that you're going to be screwing together. But let's feed one wire through and we're going to tie a knot as you normally would with any type of material. Just a simple little knot and that knot is Make sure it's very, very tight. Pull it with your pliers if you need to. And that's going to be bigger than the actual little hole that you fed it through. So that's going to be enough to have the wire not slip through that half of the barrel. So then we're going to go ahead and slide it right in there. And you're going to trim that very, very top. At the end, I'm actually going to show you a second way that you can do this. So you have two options. First is going to be the knot, and then we'll see the other one. So now let's go ahead and trim that little piece of excess wire so it's not sticking out. Right about there. And then we can actually, it's nice and tight. We can start feeding and putting our design to our bracelet. And now that our design is done, I'm gonna show you the second way. So the last part of the barrel, you're going to put it through the barrel just like we did last time. So this will be the end of the wire. You'll pull it through just as we did the first time, but instead of tying a knot here this time, we're gonna use a tiny little crimp bead. So make sure it's smaller enough to fit in that barrel. You're going to slide that crimp bead all the way to the end as much as you can. And what you'll do is you'll use one of your pliers to actually squeeze that bead right on the first wire. You're not feeding it through. You're just gonna feed it through the first time and squeeze it. And so what that'll do is it'll smash the little bead and it'll flatten it. And once it's flat, it's nice and tight, again, bigger than the little hole in there, and it won't go through. And now it's just a matter of you trimming the excess piece like we did the first time, and there you go. You have yourself a nice, tight, secure little clasp that will not snap on you like um, stretch bracelets do, and you're just twisting it. You'll twist it open and then twist it to close, Fairly easy to put on, just like as you can see here, I can open and close it just by one or two twists. It's really simple. And you can pretty much do this even to necklaces, and I've seen people do it to anklets as well because it's a nice, secure, tight space. And that is it for today's video, guys. I sure hope you liked it. Don't forget to give a like to this video and subscribe. I'd love to have you join. On that note, I hope you guys are having a terrific year, and I will catch you guys on the next one.